After rumors of an imminent retirement were swirling around, Rafael Nadal has made it clear that he doesn't plan on hanging up his racket anytime soon. Nadal's currently making plans to try a new treatment that will hopefully lengthen his career for a few more seasons. Before I get into that aspect of the video, I have to congratulate Rafa on winning his 22nd Grand Slam title and 14th Roland Garros title. The fact that he's won the same number of majors at a single major tournament as the great Pete Sampras overall is mind-blowing. Rafa, of course, boosts his record as the all-time men's slam title holder, but people have already been mentioning Serena and her record of 23. Now, I love Rafa, but y'all better leave Serena alone. Let her have her slam record and Rafa have his. There's no need to compare and compete now. Even though it's Roland Garros, Nadal's main domain, this title win was probably the most surprising or shocking out of his 14. 2020 comes close because of the colder conditions and whatnot, but ahead of this year's French, a vast majority of people had Rafa going out to Novak in the quarterfinals because the Serbian looked to be in fine form after winning Rome, while Nadal hadn't made it past the quarters of his long played lead-up events. Plus, the foot was a huge concern after his meek exit to Shapovalov in Italy. For those who don't know, Nadal has a chronic foot condition called Mueller-Weiss, which he suffered from since 2005. Mueller-Weiss is a rare disease characterized by degeneration, deformity, and pain in the navicular bones in the foot. Rafael had his first really notable flare-up last year after his Roland Garros defeat to Djokovic in the semifinals. He skipped Wimbledon and the Olympics to give himself ample time to to recover and he tried to play again at the city open but the pain was just too much to bear and Nadal ultimately pulled the plug for the remainder of his 2021 season. He didn't come back until January of this year 2022. Prior to this slam Nadal even downplayed his chances a bit saying that he was simply grateful to be out there competing. So to go from hobbling and hunching over in Rome to winning the French Open three weeks later is a true testament to his determination. As I alluded to at the beginning of this video, a lot of people feared that Nadal would announce his retirement from tennis and the trophy ceremony following his win over Rude. Nadal did make some ominous statements during the tournament, even saying, Every match that I play here, I don't know if it's going to be my last match here in Roland Garros in my tennis career, no. That's my situation now. As we all know, Rafa did not retire, and while this would have been a great way to go out, it's probably not the most ideal for the Spaniard. I say this mostly because of how lopsided that final was. It was a very anticlimactic finish to a fantastic tournament for Rafa, where he had that epic five-setter against OJ Aliassime, went against the odds and beat Djokovic, who was the favorite there, and then played a hotly contested semifinal against Verev that lasted over three hours despite being cut short in the second set. This final with Casper was a huge disappointment in terms of quality, and while it's hard to fault him, the Norwegian just seemed to totally lie down for his idol towards the end of the match. This slam title win did feel a little bit more nonchalant, especially when you compare it to his Melbourne triumph from earlier this season, which is understandable because there he came back from a pretty long injury layoff and came back from two sets to love down in the final against Medvedev to claim the open air record and claim that elusive second Aussie Open title. This is actually the first time that Rafa's won both the Australian and French Opens in the same season, which raised his eyebrows at a possible calendar year slam attempt. This was initially thought to be ruled out as during the tournament, Spanish news organization Marca reported that Nadal wouldn't be seen on court for a while and would skip the 2022 Wimbledon Championships to attend to his chronic foot condition. However, we now know that those reports were false as Nadal says that he'll try to give SW19 a go at it. First, it's important to note that for Nadal to even play Rolling Girls without a lot of pain, he had his doctor numb his foot before each match. I was able to play during these two weeks with extreme conditions, Nadal told the media, following his triumph Sunday. I had to take a lot of anti-inflammatories too but before every single match, I had to do a couple of injections. The only way to be able to play the French was to put the foot to sleep, doing a remote nerve block with anesthetic injections. The foot is left with zero sensation, no feeling, no sensitivity. But at the same time, it's a big risk in terms of less feelings, a little bit bigger risk of turning your ankle or having to produce another stuff there. That was the only way to give myself a chance here, so I did it. The risk of numbing the foot wouldn't have been any additional aggravation caused to the foot. 
Rather, because he has no feeling in it, Nadal would have less control and awareness of it had he hyperextended it or made a wrong move like Zverev did, for example. Rafael acknowledges that numbing his foot was a significant risk that clearly paid off here at Roland Garros. However, it's not something that he wants to do repeatedly in the future and would rather just take his anti-inflammatory meds. Nadal even said that he was struggling to walk after his second round of versus Quarantine Mute. The 22-time slam champ also said that he'll be trying a new treatment in the forthcoming days, which is called Radio Frequency Ablation. Radio Frequency Ablation, also known as RFA, involves a special needle being inserted next to the troubled nerves, which will then use radio frequency pulses to reset the function of the injured or damaged nerve. Dumbing it down to the simplest terms, the treatment targets and burns nerve fibers in the foot that act as pain carriers between that foot and the brain. Nadal did a few TV interviews, and here are some quotes gathered by Punto de Break, where Rafa details the new procedure. The injections in the nerves have gone well for me. Now we're going to do a treatment that consists of an intervention in the two nerves, Nadal said. This is something that has worked well for me already and has taken away my pain in the past. It consists of pulse radio frequency injections that could help me reduce the sensation that I have in my foot. If it helps me to have the similar sensation that I have now playing, not similar to now, but because my foot is totally numb, but at least disinhibit the nerve and remove the sensation of pain that is so permanent that I have. Radio frequency injection on the nerve will try to burn a little bit the nerve and create the impact that I have now with a numb foot for a long period of time, Rafa continued. If that works, I'm going to keep going. If that does not work, then it's going to be another story. And then I've got to ask myself if I'm ready to do a major thing without being sure that the things are going the proper way. For example, a major surgery that doesn't guarantee me to be able to be competitive again, and it's going to take a long time to be back. So let's do it step by step, as I did all my tennis career. We'll see if with this treatment we can leave the nerve half asleep and have that sensation that is more permanent, although it leaves me with the foot without so much sensitivity. Hopefully it works and can take out a little bit of the pain that I have. If that happens, let's see if I'm able to keep going for the grass season. So essentially, Rafael's participation at Wimbledon isn't set in stone, and he's practically entrusting his hopes in the radio frequency treatments. If they aren't successful in mitigating the pain, then he'll try the major surgery that will keep him sidelined for a longer period of time and potentially halt his career. Roth has made it clear that he doesn't play tennis for the records, rather purely out of enjoyment for the sport. Like Nadal said, with his foot condition, every decision comes with a risk. One radio frequency expert, Dr. Thomas Hogg, told The Telegraph that Nadal should perhaps think twice about undergoing the procedure. To my knowledge, there is no research which has established the efficiency of radio frequency treatment for this condition, Hogg said. That's remarkable when you think that we are dealing with the greatest we know in tennis. The nerves in the affected area of Nadal's foot have got sensory as well as motor function, so destroying these nerves using thermal radio frequency would mean that he would risk losing function, and I very much doubt that anyone would want to offer this sort of treatment to him. If Nadal knocked at my door, I would say that to treat these nerves safely, I would do pulse radio frequency treatment only, which uses lower temperatures to suppress pain and has had mixed results but does not destroy the nerve. Meanwhile, another expert in the field, Dr. Ralph Rogers, former club doctor at Chelsea, believes there's very little risk with the procedure. I don't think it's risky doing radio frequency ablation on this condition because it's not aggressive, he said. You're only scrambling the nerve signals. You're not destroying the nerve. It's not rocket science. I've been doing it for years. It is minimally invasive, non-surgical. It can last. You can repeat it. If it works, you may get 6 to 12 months of pain relief. Doing my own research about RFA, it doesn't seem to be as risky as Dr. Hawk described. According to WebMD, it's a safe and effective form of treatment that's usually geared towards patients suffering from chronic low back and neck pain and pain related to the degeneration of joints from arthritis. Now, there's no extensive findings documenting RFA success on Mueller Weiss patients, so perhaps that's where the risk arises. One typically begins to feel pain relief one to three weeks post-injection. The dog will likely have to rest for several days before training again. Pain relief from RFA can last from 6 to 12 months, and in some cases, years. WebMD says that 70% of patients treated with RFA experience pain relief. If the procedure doesn't work, Nadal must make a huge decision not only regarding his career, but his mere livelihood as a functional human being. For now, all we can do is wait and see if the treatment will help the pain, and if so, I hope to see this great champion back out there soon on the grass. Quick thing, while I was away and about to edit this video, 
Twitter user 97 in the fifth posted this video of Nadal apparently about to go to Mallorca following the first RFA treatment. As you can see, the Spaniard is walking on crushes at the moment, but still made time to sign some autographs for fans. That's all for this video, and let me know in the comments your thoughts on Nadal's foot injection and this upcoming treatment, and whether you believe we'll see him compete at Wimbledon this year. I love to hear some opinions from those in the medical field too. Make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever I post new content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time here on Grand Slam Tennis News Today.